telecommunications and networking is the largest domain, uh, at least in terms of the uh, total volume of material possible to include in it and likely the time uh, that is going to be dedicated to it here. Um, this is huh, not necessarily representative of importance, but simply the fact that there is so much material in communications, telecommunications, networking, and particularly the idea of protocols. Now, we will um, uh, be coming back to protocols shortly, but um, just to sort of illustrate, to, to explain why there is so much material, which uh, you should at least pay attention to and be aware of, and that is the idea of protocols. Um, in the other fields, we've got, uh, oh, principles, axioms, uh, procedures, and that sort of thing. And, and the, the programming that goes into actually working with them may be proprietary. A, a given tool, you know, a number of tools may do the same thing, but do it in different ways. Um, presenting the information to you in different formats uh, and it's a, a matter of choice communications is not at least the you know the, the contents of the communications are but the the style the the actual process of communication involves protocols and the protocols have to be agreed to and to illustrate why this is so. Um, any language that you speak is a protocol. If you speak English, that is a protocol. There are uh, there's certain vocabulary, there are certain grammatical and syntactical structures, and if you violate the protocols, then it affects your communications. Your, your communications either doesn't get through or is not as clear, is subject to misinterpretation. The same is true of French. The same is true of German. The same is true of any language. It is a protocol. So we have a number of protocols in communications and telecommunications and they have to be agreed to. They have to be established. Um, they have to be defined and structured. And everybody who wants to communicate has to agree on what protocol to use. And there are, you know, well, there are many protocols, but there are uh, a number that are more widely used than others. And we'll go into some of that um, as we get into this, but that's that's why telecommunications has so much material to cover, is we just have these protocols and, and you have to know about them to make communications work. Okay, um, so, uh, give you a bit of reference. I mean, there's a ton of reference material. There's you know, a, a ton of um, material in telecommunications, but there's an awful lot of literature to back it up. And, and by and large, um, there are a great many that are certainly decent. Um, in terms of the security of communications, uh, practical Unix and internet security um, by Garfinkel and Spafford. Um, now, the, the CISSP uh, does not uh, 
rely on any particular vendor or any particular system. You know, uh, in terms of the uh, the exam, you're going to be asked about principles. You're not going to be asked about specific operating systems or whatever. But uh, see. Uh, inclusion of Unix here um, is just a reflection of reality then an awful lot of um, telecommunications is run on the basis of Unix or Unix variants and uh, it, it's not that you need to know Unix but um, the book doesn't actually rely on Unix. I mean, it uses Unix examples and certainly tells you what you need to know about Unix and uh, the commands and security aspects of it. But it's, um, you know, it does it in conceptual terms. You know, here is the concept, here is the function you want to perform, here is how you do it in Unix. Uh, network security by Kaufman, uh, Perlman and Spasiner. Um, that is probably the the text in the field. Um, if you can only read one, that's the one um, that uh, goes through security. It's specific to communications and networking security. Um, oh, computer networks. Uh, and I noted 4th edition by Tannenbaum. Um, uh, well, again, you know, Tannenbaum's one of those people that pretty much everything he, he writes is valuable. Um, so I would, uh, you know, definitely think that that is uh, worth it. I certainly, you know, got a lot out of it uh, myself. And... Uh, T sorry, data and computer communications, and that is by Stalling. And again, Stalling and Tannenbaum, both, um, you know, very able authors, uh, good uh, technical material in uh, a number of very useful fields. So uh, those are, uh, you know, that's sort of the introduction to um, telecommunications and networking the references um, that you will find most valuable in studying them and we will plunge into the material itself shortly.